Hey gang, FLX Beer Reviews, back again with another episode of As the Beer Swirls. I'm Dan. I'm Mike. Dan, what are we drinking? Uh, Mike, this is a beer. Mm -hmm. It is. From... Next. Um, for Quentum. For Quentum. Out of Candigua, New York. In Buffalo, New York now, I guess? Sure, yeah, they're branching uh, out. So anyways, this is their <laughs> Summer Hours, and it is part of their Weekend Warrior series. Indeed. And this is a light lager. With lemon? With raspberry. Raspberry. And bergamot. Oh, that's what it was. Because bergamot. Yes. Did you know it's a hybrid? Did you? You do now. It's a hybrid. With it's hybrid fruit. Lemon? Yep. Mm -hmm. And a dirty orange. Dash of Earl Grey tea. <laughs> a bitter orange. You can only uh, grow them in uh, the southern part of Italy. Yeah. Okay. So we did uh, a research. I believe, I believe Sean went over there. Did Are you happy now, Joe? All right. Uh, this is so cringe. Uh <laughs> 4% ABV. Hey, you know what? They're putting these bougie fruits in, in Weekend Warrior Crusher yeah. beers. Uh, it wouldn't be a frequentum review if we didn't F it up. That's true. Uh, what's cool about that label? I didn't even show it. You can oh, show it yeah. Uh, so you you send it. Yeah, send it, baby. Um, yeah, I, I, I like their Weekend Warrior I series. I love their Weekend Warrior series. It's pretty awesome. I, I wish we'd done their do a kickflip because that beer was fantastic, but I drank it all real fast. Uh, yeah, 12-ounce cans, too. Yeah, Isn't that cool? awesome. Um, so yeah, it's super light pink. Uh, there was no can on date, but uh, all the social media is pointing to that. Releasing on 718. So at the time of filming, we are about two weeks out. I don't know why I'm constantly talking like game show host. I don't know either. Oh man. So it's like a, a super light, like kind of straw, citrus straw. Don't tell me what to do. My, wouldn't dream of you're the tastemaker. <laughs> Oh man, there's a the raspberry is like real fresh. It's a <clears throat> it is very herbally. Yes, it's probably the bergamot. Bergamot. Excuse me, sir. Like my crushable beers with the. Potato. I've read bergamot. my bergamot. Oh, whatever will I do? How will I douse up my beer without my bergamot? Would you like a bergamot to garnish it? Cheers. Cheers. Oh, 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 I must say. <laughs> oh, the delicious bergamot in there. Making this beer just a delectable, tasty, refreshing It reminds beverage. me of my summers as Papa and Mama brought us to our fine beach in Italy. Ah, uh, yes. Summer vacation. Taking uh, the air out about the lake, strolling around on our yacht. You cross that with some hipster stuff. That's what this beer is. This beer is fit for peasantry, royalty alike. Yeah. Uh, seriously, it is. It's light, crisp. Mm -hmm. uh, there is this herbally kind of floral drying aspect to it, and that raspberry, I think, is a. Uh, it's a nice compliment to it. Uh, I agree. I think that raspberry is kind of getting kicked in the nuts a little bit by the bergamot. Um, well, you've got royalties and peasantry going at it, and I mean, someone's going to come out on top. Yeah. I don't know yeah. who it's going to be, but. It is, I think the, the, the flavor contrast works really well. Um, it's clean, crushable. Like, I just want to slam this right now, but I, it is a very, like, herbal kind of note behind it. A little drying on the front of the palate. Yeah. It's, it's really it, good. It is very drying to me. Mm hmm It's, it makes you want to. Send it really. I mean, not even open it from the top. Just yeah, a very nice, pleasant flavor. It's not overdone. It's not fake or natural flavors. Yeah. It's yeah. just you know, just yeah. Who would make a beer with natural flavors? It it, it really brings out the essence of it on a really nice base of a, a light lager. Uh, so what do you rate this, Mike? Um, I I give this a four two all day. I like this. I love this whole series. Like, ooh, yeah. Um, I give us like a probably like a a four. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, uh, if you're in the FLX area, you're in Canandaigua, or you're over in Buffalo, <laughs> get yourself in there. Get some of their Weekend Warrior it. series. Yeah, I mean, you kind of have to. I yep. was planning on just finishing it. All right, gang. Uh, down below, um, for all you peasants and uh, rich people, mm -hmm. you want to get down with uh, the tastemakers <sighs> of YouTube. True. Very influential. Very, very people influential crap about our with thoughts. our with our pe thirty people that follow us and the two people that only watch our videos, Bumpy and Billy. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, oh, Billy. Billy, Billy always gets thrown into the mix. But whatever's well, going on. Actually, I think we got a new viewer that is a, a, a watches a lot. Uh, Jordan. Jordan. Oh yeah, yeah. Over yeah. at uh, he's our new peasant. Uh, bruising beats, bruising yep. bars. Yep. Hip hop. He's got like five names. I Jordan, you got to pick a name, buddy. You got to pick a name. <laughs> Figure it out. It, it's like I get mixed up with the Instagram name. Then there's the YouTube name because the keep a funky beer reviews. But then the channel name is. Bruise and beats. I don't know what's going on. It's scary out there. I'm not going to put the work in. Uh, for Quantum, great beer. Thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers. Tastemaker.